The first thing I really want to do is actually get it off these bits of wood that are falling apart so that it's nice and flat and that actually might relax the edges a bit because it's quite sort of buckled. It's, it's traditional that paintings are attached to stretchers. When it is a particularly a cotton or a linen canvas, you know, they're quite floppy, so an artist needs a, a tension surface to, to work on. And, and for me to be able to do justice to this painting, I need it to be quite <coughs> stable and under a certain amount of tension. These objects release emotions and hidden stories. Who wouldn't be thrilled to have their portrait painted? These memories that then get handed down through the family, I mean, they're absolutely irreplaceable. You know, this, this is more than a portrait of a, of a woman. It tells a, a really lovely story, pure and simple. I'm, I've prepared some uh, polyester sailcloth um, material, and this is the material I'm going to attach to the edges so that when I put it on its stretcher, this is the material that's going to be bent around it to support the painting. What I'm going to do is to actually put the adhesive strip on the edge of the painting. Uh, my heated spatula is on. I want the polyester to cover the adhesive. Once heat is applied to it, we get a really good bond. And I can see straight away, just the change in the color, I can see that the adhesive is flowing. have to fit this now onto its new stretcher. I'm getting that first pin in to hold it is always the most difficult thing because it slides. One there. Yeah, that's good. So it's squared up. She's all nice and stable on here. Um, she's ready to start cleaning. That is so much better. All glued up, pinned in the corners. Just put a quick oil over the whole thing that soaked in really nicely. It feels so much more sta stable now, much more sturdy. So that's it, I think it's ready to give back to Lucia. Hey Lucia, Hi, you Dom. okay? Yeah. Here it is, a little bit more sturdy now. Fantastic. Glued and clamped it all up, pinned the corners and given it a quick oil. Most importantly, it, hopefully this painting fits now. Yeah, let's have a try, that's good. Oh, Look good. at that. That is fantastic. Oh, it it's... really suits that painting. Thank you very That's much. Awesome. That's really lovely. I look forward lovely. to seeing what you do with that painting. Thanks. What I'm going to do now is actually test clean with saliva just to see what's happening on the surface. I can see that this brown is going to lift off. You know, maybe the artist put a brush coat of some kind of water-soluble finish on this painting. What I'm going to do now is actually use a solvent just to see if it's going to pick up anything that's not water-soluble. Now, this is interesting. There's definitely a varnish. It's very thin, but for the portrait, that's really good news because it means that all the dust and dirt that it's sort of gathered over the years is sitting on top of a varnish layer, so that actually protects the paint there. And what I'm seeing now is she's got actually rosy cheeks that were really quite lost under that dirt. It's great, they're nice little details that are probably lost under all the dirt and this discoloured varnish. I'm very happy that I'm going to be able to have a successful clean on this portrait to something that's probably much more dynamic. The thing that you can see probably most dramatically is her lovely dark red lipstick. Getting this with a bar of chocolate was amazing. Mind you, there's not much I wouldn't do for a bar of chocolate. 